The situation has reached crisis levels as a mass hunger strike was met with retaliatory state practices, including an official state practice of force feeding detainees via painful nasogastric intubation, disproportionate use of force, including firing non lethal shots at detainees on hunger strike, seizure of detainees' properties, including legal mail and correspondence with family members, the use of 22 hour solitary confinement as a retaliatory measure, and a punitive general search policy to discourage detainees from meeting with counsel or speaking to members of their family. The painful and humiliating procedure used for force feeding, which involves detainees being strapped to a chair while a feeding tube is roughly inserted through the nose and into the stomach and roughly extracted. This painful procedure lasts between 30 and 120 minutes, and in addition, detainees reportedly remain strapped to the chair for several hours afterwards in an attempt to prevent them from regurgitating the food. According to the World Medical Assembly's declaration of Malta, in cases involving people on hunger strike, the duty of medical personnel to act ethically and the principle of respect for individuals' autonomy must be respected.